apacible y humilde humble in spirit humilde de corazón and you and I will find rest in our lives descanso para sus almas you see you gotta you gotta understand tenemos que entender that as we grow in the things of God crecemos en las cosas de Dios we're not only hearers of the word of God we become doers of the word of God somos hacedores de la palabra and you see then you activate the dunamis power si se activa el poder de dunamis oh you don't hear me tonight church no creo que me escuchan iglesia you see you're setting yourself up for a miracle tú te estás poniendo en pie para un milagro we're standing on the promise Estamos en la tierra de promesas. This is our home. This is where we belong. Aquí es donde pertenecemos. You see, you gotta understand. Tenemos que entender. When you and I, que tú y yo, allow ourselves to be teachable. Per, per, permitir que seamos enseñables. We allow ourselves to be reachable. Permitir que seamos alcanzados. Then we grow. Y crecemos. At another measure. A otra medida. We grow in our faith. Crecemos en la fe. We grow in our spiritual life. Crecemos en nuestra vida espiritual. We grow in the biblical wisdom. Crecemos en la sabiduría bíblica. We begin to fall in love with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Empezamos a enamorarnos de las buenas nuevas de Jesucristo. Oh, you, you don't hear me tonight, church? Esta, esta noche, iglesia. You see, are you hungry for the Lord? Tenemos hambre de Dios. Are you hungry for the Lord? Tenemos hambre de Dios. See that, and I want you to remember que the God that you and I serve. Dios que servimos. He carried that cross. El cargó esa cruz. Humbly, se humilló. As he was being insulted, mientras fue insultado. And just like the song says, así como dice la alabanza, you can't buy that. No podemos comprar eso. It's something that we do not deserve. Es algo que no merecemos. But yet, pero a pesar, he chose to die for you and me. Escogió morir por tú y yo. You see, he saw fit. Él lo miró. To die for you and I. Para morir por nosotros. You were bought at a high price. Fuiste comprado un costo muy alto. So church, don't you ever forget so it. Iglesia, no hay que olvidarnos. We don't come to the, the house of the Lord no venimos a la casa del Señor. in a routine service una manera rutinaria. we don't do it because we have to no ven, no lo hacemos porque tenemos que. We, we do it because we're grateful lo hacemos porque estamos agradecidos. we do it because God is good porque Dios es bueno. and he's faithful Él es fiel. amen why don't we give God another clap offering Pero queremos dar palmas al Señor Amen. 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 Tonight I want to give everyone a warm welcome. Te quiero dar una fuerte bienvenida. To our midweek service. Nuestro servicio entre semana. At the spot. Aquí en el spot. You see, there's no better place to be. So no hay mejor lugar que estar. Than in the house of the Lord. Sino que en la casa de Dios. So before you guys take your seats. So antes de que tomen sus asientos. I want you to go around and and greet somebody tonight Quiero que saludes a alguien esta and noche. tell that person y dile a esa persona, I'm happy you're here at the spot soy gozoso que estás aquí. <laughs> Amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So tonight, as we continue moving forward, mientras seguimos hacia adelante, I know that everyone knows that our church is a church that's on the move. Sabemos que nuestra iglesia es una iglesia que está en el mover. So this Friday, este viernes, 
want you to turn to your neighbor and tell them this Friday we have our Viva Mexico night tenemos nuestra noche de Viva Mexico amen and for some of you that don't know esos que a lo mejor no sabemos there will be a grito de eh, independencia pero el grito de independencia as, as we celebrate y vamos a celebrar Mexican freedom el, la libertad de México <laughs> Amen. So we we will be here gathering at five o'clock. Vamos a estar aquí juntándonos a las cinco de la tarde. There will be a movie and dinner. Va a ser una película y una cena. And there's a small fee. Va a haber un costo pequeño. There's two hundred pesos for the adults. Doscientos pesos para los adultos. And a hundred pesos for those eleven years and under. Y cien pesos para los que sean de la edad de once para abajo. Also, this Sunday, a reminder este domingo, también un recordatorio that our next gen, que nuestro next gen nursery and gang leaders y los del gang y los que están involucrados con los niños, and also the helpers y los que ayudan, will, will be meeting after the second service. Se van a juntar después del, uh, primer servicio. So once again, all those that are involved, esos que están involucrados, be sure to be at that meeting. Asegúrense de estar en esa junta. On September 30th, el 30 de septiembre, for all those that are blessed, también esos que estamos bendecidos, and not, and not stressed, y no estresados, <laughs> we will be having our better together Vamos marriage, a nuestro servicio para matrimonios, marriage dinner, en la cena. Amen. So I want to encourage all those that are blessed so animo a esos que están bendecidos to invest in their marriage. Para invertir en su matrimonio. And there is a small fee. Hay un costo pequeño también. It will be twenty dollars per couple. Veinte dólares por pareja. For further information, you can see Sister Gigi or Brother Chuy. Para más información pueden ver a la hermana, hermana Guillermina y el hermano Chuy. On October fifth through the seventh. El octubre cinco al siete. We will be having our prayer retreat. Vamos a tener nuestro retiro de oración. There in the hacienda, in, I believe it's called. Santa Veronica, Ahí right? Rancho Santa Veronica. Amen. So we want to encourage all those that are able to attend. Animamos esos que van a registrarse. To go with an open heart. Que vayan con un corazón abierto. So that God will speak to you. Para que Dios nos hable. Amen. And so as we pay attention to the screens for further announcements. La seguimos con el orden del servicio. Why run for hope? Why run for hope? Why? Why? I'm a prostitute. I don't want this life. Porque el Señor dijo, yo tengo un plan, yo tengo un llamado contigo Y solamente en alcance de victoria van a poder trabajar contigo Solamente aquí vas a poder reincorporarte al camino Y avanzar en la voluntad y en el propósito de Dios And we need men and women that are going to stand up and stand up for God Because some of us are not going to settle for anything but the best that he's got I believe that God is using us in this life. I will 
to bring a stirring up and to take Jesus to these lost and hurting people. Nosotras somos las mujeres a marcar la diferencia en medio de estos últimos tiempos que estamos viviendo. You are called of God. You are called of God. You are called of God. And you could be powerful in his hands. Amen. Hallelujah. And as you can all see, God is on the move. Podemos ver que Dios está moviendo. On October 17th through the 20th, el de 17 al 20, I want to encourage everyone that is able to. Quiero animar a esos que están uh, en la oportunidad o habilidad. We have men in our recovery home. Tenemos hombres en el hogar Victoria. Where God is doing great and mighty works. Donde Dios está haciendo obras grandes. And so, if you can be a blessing, si puede ser una bendición, please reach out to Junior or maybe to one of us. Puede ver a, a los líderes o a Junior. So that we can see our men there. Para que nuestros hombres puedan llegar ahí. At the camp meeting. Al uh, camp meeting. Amen. Uh, also. We're still in run for hope mode. No se olviden que estamos en modo correr Amen. por esperanza. I don't know about you, but every time I see that prostitute, yo no sé ustedes, pero cuando miro ese video sobre la prostituta, she's asking for help. Ella está pidiendo ayuda. Look, we might not be there physically. Además no podemos estar ahí físicamente. But we can help. Pero podemos ayudar. So I. I want you guys to keep in mind that it's never too little que nunca es muy poco, or never too much. O demasiado. You see, you and I can never outgive God. Y no podemos darle más a see, Dios. we always got to stay grateful. Siempre tenemos que estar agradecidos. With that said, Con eso dicho, I want everyone to stand to their feet. Se pueden poner de pie. And I want everyone to give a warm welcome que darle la bienvenida as I ask Sister Liz to make her way to the altar. Viene la hermana Liz. God bless you, church. Dios un reino que no es de este mundo, que es el reino de Dios. Las advertencias están alrededor de Dios. Dile nada. tan maravillosa the house of God it's midweek it's right there you're halfway through the week come on now and then we're going to say you know I know some of us may come tired from work you know you barely made it but I want to let you know tonight Pero les dejo saber esta noche, you're going to leave different. Que se van a ir you're going to leave refreshed. Van a irse refrescado. Oh, God has a word for you, Porque church. Dios tiene una palabra para ti. And you have to come expecting. Y tienes que venir con una expectativa. I've been hearing that word, expectancy. He estado escuchando esa palabra, expectativa. It has just been giving me confirmation and confirmation. Y Dios me lo ha confirmado. Well, God wants to speak tonight que Dios quiere hablar esta noche. to his people. A su pueblo. And I'm excited tonight. I, y estoy emocionada esta noche. I count it a privilege. Le, lo cuento un privilegio. To be here. De estar aquí. You know, uh, entrusted to speak God's word. Confia que me confiaron para poder hablar la palabra de Dios. I want to go ahead and um, thank my husband, Entonces, my our pastor, a a mi pastor, mi esposo, for the for the opportunity for. You know, for him making room for us Por women. La oportunidad y darnos el privilegio a United a Women in Ministry. Mujeres unidas en ministerio. You know, and um, I want to thank the leadership, Brother Hector. Gracias al liderazgo. You know, I know <laughs> it's kind of been changed. You know, it's it's been different lately, right? Así for the last, I think, several months on Wednesdays ha sido since diferente we. Ya los miércoles. But God's doing something new. Pero Dios está haciendo algo nuevo. God is doing something new in our church. Algo nuevo en la iglesia. And I'm excited because Estoy emocionada porque we're in a season. Estamos en una temporada. We are in a season of faith. 
faith. Una temporada de fe. Expecting miracles. Con una expectativa de milagros. We are experiencing. Estamos experimentando. A miracle in motion. Un milagro en movimiento. I mean, but do you believe it? Pero si lo crees. I'm telling you, church, God wants to do something miraculous. Estoy diciendo que Dios quiere hacer algo milagroso. In your life. Sobre tu vida. And we have to say, God, open the heart, open the eyes of my heart. Y le decimos a Dios que abra los ojos de nuestro corazón. Let me have an ear to hear. Un oído para escuchar. The voice behind the voice. La voz detrás de la voz. So that I can receive the word that I'm looking for. Para poder recibir la palabra que estoy buscando. And that I'm expecting. Que estoy esperando. Hallelujah. And tonight, I, I, I just want to, you know, I want to, I want to open up with a shout of praise. <laughs> Come on now. This church can praise. This church knows how to praise. Let's give a shout to the Lord for all that he has done. Porque Dios ha sido bueno. If God has been good, Dios ha sido bueno. Shout, griten. Shout, griten a Praise Him. Alábenlo. For He deserves Porque all the parece. praise. All the praise. Toda la gloria. Hallelujah. 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 Victory Hours Tijuana. Alcance Victoria Tijuana. Jesus loves you. Cristo nos ama. Oh, He loves. Victory Outreach Tijuana. Ama nuestra iglesia. Okay, you, you may go ahead and be seated tonight. ¿Se pueden sentar esta noche? I also want to thank God, my precious Lord and Savior. Le doy gracias a Dios, mi precioso Dios y Salvador. For my salvation. Por mi salvación. It's been almost 21 years. Lleva casi 21 años. For He rescued me. Desde que me rescató. He restored me. Restauró mi vida. Restored my heart. Mi corazón. Restored my mind. Mente. And restored my relationships. I say relationships because first it was with my husband, then with my mom, and others. That's a miracle. And uh, I also want to thank God for my family. I want to thank our church, our wonderful church family. All of you. Cada uno de ustedes. Every single one of you, I thank God for. Cada uno de ustedes, le doy gracias you a are Dios. so special to, tan especiales to your pastor and I. A sus pastores. And, um, and without any further ado, Mas, uh, I want to thank God for our translator. <laughs> Last time I forgot to thank God, Pero but he sabe. knows I'm grateful. Pero él sabe que estoy agradecido. <laughs> Amen. So Amen. if you would uh, help me by turning your Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 4. Vamos con la Biblia a Segunda de Reyes, uh, capítulo 4. Verse 8 through 10. Del 8 al 10. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and read and then. So para el tiempo, ya va a leer y después. And the word of God reads, One day Elisha went to the town of Shunem. A wealthy woman lived there, and she urged him to come to her home for a meal. After that, whenever he passed that way, he would stop there for something to eat. Verse 9. She said to her husband, I am sure this man who stops in from time to time is a holy man of God. Let's build a small room for him on the roof and furnish it with a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp. Then he will have a place to stay whenever he comes by. Dice la palabra de Dios. Un día cuando Eliseo pasaba por Sunem, Cierta mujer de buena posición le insistió que comieran en su casa. Desde entonces, siempre que pasaba por ese pueblo, comía ahí. La, la mujer dijo a su esposo, Mira, yo estoy segura de que este hombre que siempre nos visita es un santo hombre de Dios. Hagamos un cuarto en la azotea y pongamos ahí una cama, una mesa, una silla y una lámpara. De ese modo, cuando nos visite, tendrá un lugar donde quedarse. Amen. Let's, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come before you tonight, Lord. We thank you for your presence that is here in this place. 
Lord, I ask you as you open every heart, Te pido tú abres los corazones, Lord, that your word comes inside and brings change, que tu palabra entre y traiga el cambio, that we receive your word, Lord. Que recibamos tu palabra, and I ask you, Lord, to remove me, yo te pido que me remuevas a mí, so that your Holy Spirit can move and, and pierce the hearts of your people. Para que sea tu Espíritu Santo el que penetra you, los corazones de tu pueblo. And we give you all the honor. Y te damos el honor. And all the praise. La alabanza. And God's people say. Y el pueblo de Dios dice. Amen. 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 So this message I titled Expecting a Miracle. So este mensaje lo titulé La Expectativa del Milagro. And it's, and, and it's heavy because You know, when we uh, started the home 10 years ago, Mira, cuando empezamos un hogar hace diez años, back in Whittier, allá en Whittier, I remember yo me acuerdo, we had this old antique home in Whittier. Teníamos un, un, uh, una casa antigua, and they had arches. Tenían arcos. And we had an artist. You know, in the home you have every trade. Teníamos artistas, <laughs> y ya sabes que you have artists, artistas, mechanics, plumbers. Mecánicos, plomeros, sale de todo. Be careful with the mechanics, though. Tengan cuidado con los mecánicos. But there was this one, you know, this guy who, who was a really good artist. Pero había uno que era un artista de verdad. And uh, I remember one of our, uh, one of a pastor's wife came and she visited our home. Una de las esposas del pastor vino y visitó And they had made, they had ran, uh, you know, a home for years. Y habían corrido un hogar por años. And she would tell us her faith stories. Y ella decía su, sus historias. And then she would say, and in our home, decía en nuestro hogar, which is in the ranch, el ranch en el, she would say, we would have Expect a miracle. Teníamos una expectativa de milagro. Ooh, I said, ooh, that sounds catchy. Ooh, eso me gusta. Because mind you, we're in a home of miracles. Porque estamos en un hogar de milagros. And so sometimes as coming into the home, a veces cuando entran al hogar, they can't believe God for nothing. They're no pueden, barely making it no there. Pueden creer para Dios para nada. Apenas están haciéndola. So what we did was we had the, uh, one of our guys uh, Draw. Pues que el artista, uh, and he put expect a miracle. Esperar un milagro. Big letters. Letras grandes. So when they open the door so la and puerta, they came in, entraban, what's the first thing they see? Es lo que miran. Expect a miracle. Esperar un milagro. Because a lot of times a veces, we can come into the house of God a la casa de Dios, and we're barely making it through. Y la we, we can barely believe God that He can restore my marriage, que puede el that He can do a work in my life. Que puede hacer una obra en mi vida. And sometimes, y a veces, it's, it, well, most of the time, I think it's easier to believe for others a veces podemos creer mejor para otros than it is for yourself. Que para ti mismo. But that sign was purposely intended for those that walk in that door to believe that they can expect a miracle. And I'm telling you, you know, God, God produced a bunch of miracles. And, and it, was, it was such a, a, a season like what Brother Marcos was saying, uh, we're in miracle territory. Era como dijo el Marcos, we were in miracle territory then. Estábamos ahí entonces. And just as we were then, Así como lo estábamos antes, we are in miracle territory now, church. De now. Ahí, It's not a time to play. Es un tiempo de jugar. You know, Reading this portion of scripture, Mientras leemos esta porción de escritura, it talks about a woman habla sobre una mujer who is well off. Que tiene dinero. She was a faithful woman. Una mujer fiel. She was a woman who was barren. Una mujer que no podía tener hijos. But yet she was comfortable. Pero ella estaba cómoda. During this time, durante este tiempo, she took notice. She took notice of the man of God, Elisha. Sobre este hombre de Dios, Eliseo, the prophet Elisha. El profeta whom was a prophet that would travel frequently este en and pass by their place. Y por ese She offered her home, y ofreció su hogar, her hospitality, y su hospitalidad, to the man of God. Al hombre de Dios. She would wait and watch y esperaba, out for him When he would pass by, pasaba, she would invite him in, invitaba, make dinner for him, cena, if he wanted to take a nap, siesta, rest. Descansar. I mean, she set her home to uh, 
for hospitality. Kind of like what we do in the green room. We set the atmosphere. We set a place for the men of God that God uses to minister so that they can feel refreshed, so that they don't have to feel stressed, so that they can feel like they have that mo those moments where they can focus their mind to what God has called them to do. And so this woman prepared her home for that. She's seen that this man of God would travel everywhere meeting the needs of his people. And there's three areas I want to share about this woman that stands out to me. First, she had a sensitivity to the presence of God. You see, there's, there's an importance of having an atmosphere. I've shared before, in, in our home, we make it a habit to leave on worship. I, I, I think I shared that the importance of that is that we have an atmosphere of worship in the home. Because if you're not listening si no estás to something that can, you know, that is positive or that is, you know, worship or God or the word of God, no palabra, el, el who will try to come into your mind? Your carnal thinking, uh, right? Carnal. The negative talkers. And it just starts playing in your mind. And so the importance of the atmosphere is so important. See, we must recognize and be sensitive of the opportunities God has given us and is giving us personally and as a church. Staying sensitive to the Holy Spirit with God's people. But to have this, we must be in relation and communion with the Lord daily. Having the same heart, the same vision, and the burden. And I, I say that because you see, this woman caught the heart. Esta mujer captó el she caught the vision. Captó la she even caught the burden. De hecho, uh, ella captó la carga. So much so Tanto that she opened up her own home. Ella abrió su hogar. How many of us would open our home? De casa? To someone you didn't really know, but you just seen. Que de veras no conoces, pero it's so important es muy that we're in step with what God or with God whom has called us to be in unity with one another as the body of Christ. You, you see, she bared witness with the man of God because privately she had communion with the Lord. And when you have that communion and that relationship with God, you can discern who's who. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? It's the voice behind the voice. Es la voz de la voz. It's not the woman or the man. No es la mujer, no es el but it's who's activating in that man. Pero quien está de eso. Was the presence of God. Era la de Dios. Keeping focused on the right things. Mantenernos enfocados en las cosas correctas. And not the negative or the wrong things. No lo negativo o lo erróneo. You see, religious people, Mira, la gente religiosa, they show up to church every week. Ellos están en la iglesia, and they do what's expected. A veces a las semanas, but, you, but, but you see, relational people Pero miras que la gente que tiene relación con show up to everything. Ellos están en todo. They're passionate Tienen pasión about serving. De servir. They're not easily discouraged. No se desaniman fácilmente. And you can see the Spirit of God moving throughout their life. 
they go through changes they go through trials pasan cambios, pasan they go through hardships pasan but they know who their God is quién es su Dios. they know who to draw strength from Saben quién they know who to seek Saben quién buscar. you see you will always be more passionate Mira, vas a tener más pasión in whatever you invest in en lo que tú vas a invertir. Passionate people uh, gente are hungry for more. Para más. They're never satisfied. Nunca están and they stand out. Y ellos This woman, Esta mujer, she stood out. Ella she wanted more. Ella más. Mind you, she was a woman that was content. De hecho, era una mujer muy she didn't need anything. No nada. She had everything. Tenía todo. Privately, Pero en privado, she desired a son but she never made that known one thing about the atmosphere that she had set is the proof of who she is was in her actions in serving the man of God The presence of God will compel you to move. The presence of God will compel you to serve, to do more. It, it, it compels you to step out. Even though you're scared. Even though you, you don't know what to expect. The presence of God will Uh, provoke you to trust the presence of God in our life will encourage us to keep moving forward you see this woman had a spirit of discernment Be a discerning people. Para ser un pueblo, una persona con discernimiento. We have to be a discerning people. Tenemos que ser gente de It's important that we know the difference. Es importante saber la diferencia between the spiritual, entre lo espiritual, the carnal, lo carnal, the flesh, la carne, and what is of God. Y lo que es de Dios. It's so important as a believer. Es muy importante como creyente. Because there's three voices that we can hear. Porque hay tres voces que podemos escuchar. And they all sound the same. Y se pueden sonar igual. But if you don't do discern Pero si no what voice that is voces, you can be led astray ir a un lado. and the first voice is the voice of truth la voz es la voz de then you have the voice of reason Luego la de razón. and then you have the voice of the enemy Luego la voz del and the voice of reason is you la voz de razón eres tú mismo. and you have to align it with the word of God que con la palabra de Dios. does it align with the word of God con la palabra? and you'll know the Lord will show you el Señor te va a You see, she recognized the man of God, Ella al de Dios, the work of God, la obra de Dios. and she felt compelled to bless him. Ella se como a you know, it's not easy opening your home no es fácil abrir tu casa for people to come in and live, para que gente entre a vivir. right? Your privacy, ya, tu you don't know what to expect, no sabes qué you know, it's a risk. You know, they could either be grateful or they could turn around and talk about you, <laughs> of how you live, right? It happens. But see, this woman didn't look at any of that. She didn't even worry about that. She knew he was a man of God. She knew that God appointed her to him and she served him. And, and I tell you that <clears throat> when she, this woman had discernment, esta mujer tenía the importance of that, I kind of want to harp on that a little bit, ahí un en eso. because in these end times en estos tiempos, that we are living in, viviendo, they are evil, son malos. and there's all kinds of false, false doctrines false teachings people who appear holy people who appear very you know you know you know but you have to have that 
discerning spirit. Pero tienes que tener ese espíritu de, de you have to know that they are, you know, they are who they say they are. Saber quién, si And the Lord will show you. Y el Señor te enseña, like he showed this woman. Como enseñó a esta mujer. Because let me tell you people, Porque or church, te voy a decir, iglesia, evil is increasing la, está all around the world. Alrededor del mundo. And we will y también, be tested vamos a ser in our faith. En nuestra fe. You see the atmosphere Mira, la atmosfera, that you choose. Que tú I'm telling you about atmosphere. La atmosfera. Because you may think, oh, that doesn't bother us. Dices, Eso no me Or, oh, that won't affect us. Oh, eso no nos va a But I want to tell you the importance of atmosphere. Pero la de la It is so important. Es muy the atmosphere you choose for our kids Mira, or ourselves la atmosfera que pongamos para nuestros hijos o to para be around. Mismos. It's either it will either edify your spiritual growth o va a tu or it'll leave you discouraged. Te va a dejar it may leave you doubtful, a mejor te va a dejar con duda. fearful, atemorizado, fleshy, o right? Todo carnal. Probably like, oh man, why am I thinking all these thoughts all of a Tengo sudden? Ahora Be careful. Who are you around? What are you listening to? And, 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 and we got to be careful because we have to protect y que tener para proteger, no, our heart. Um, secondly, la, la, segundo punto, is that this woman had a spirit of expectancy. Esta mujer tenía una you see, faith is expectancy. La fe es una expectativa. Expectancy is the breeding ground es donde crece o nace for miracles. Milagros. Let me say that again. Expectancy is the breeding ground la es donde nace for miracles. El milagro. Miracles just don't come out of the sky. No solamente cae del cielo. You have to put your faith. Que poner tu fe. You have to expect something. Que venir con una de algo. You know my son? Mira, mi hijo. <laughs> That boy can expect. Ese niño tiene una And he will be persistent in that. Él es en esto. Because he knows. Él sabe. All he has to do is expect, be persistent, and it comes. Y y viene. We have to be that, those kind of people. Que ser ese tipo de with the things of God. Las cosas de Dios. Expectancy, expectancy draws it in. La es lo que lo jala. Filled with faith, Llena de fe. the substance la of what we hope for, que and the evidence y la that is not seen. Que no se ve. That's Hebrew 11. Hebreos 11. We have to have a spirit of expectancy, Tenemos church. Que tener una what are you expecting God to do in your life? ¿Qué tú sobre Dios, sobre tu vida? What is it that you are expecting God for? ¿Qué es lo que estás Are you just going through life? Solamente estás pasando la vida? Like kumbaya? Como kumbaya? And whatever, que sera, sera, right? Que pasa, pasa. Whatever, maybe, maybe. A la mejor, a la mejor. Or are you looking, are you have dreams? O tienes sueños? Do you have goals? Tienes metas? You're not here on this earth just to live. Solamente estamos aquí para vivir. God has a divine purpose Dios tiene un propósito for divino. your life. Para tu vida. But we have to position ourselves tienes que posicionar for what God has for us. Para lo que Dios tiene para you see, this woman positioned herself. Esta mujer se posicionó. She could have kept in her retirement, Ella I want to say. Quedado, quedado su, uh, she had a beautiful house. Hermoso, she didn't worry about money. No she had her dinero, husband. She didn't have to go out of her way no que irse a otro lado and serve. Y servir, but she did. Pero lo, lo hizo. She made room in her home for the presence of God because she was sensitive to the presence of God. God was using him tremendously. The prophet Elisha. She might have been waiting on God to move within her own life privately. 
And even though she didn't make known her own needs or desires, no da, how many of you know God knows? Saben que Dios sabe? God knows. Dios sabe. God knows the desires of our heart. Los de she had an expectancy. Tenía una or we have to have a spirit of expectancy. Pues que tener ese and with, with that, I you know, this woman, you know, she... There's no name for her in the Bible except the Shinnamite woman. But God knew her Pero Dios la because it was her faith era su fe that moved God. Que movió Dios. And really quick, I want to go ahead and uh, read 2 Kings 4.11 through 21. El ocho, del 11 al 21. One day, well, how about you read it, and then in Spanish, and then um, we'll go from there, because I don't want to take too much time. Dice la palabra de Dios. En cierta ocasión, Eliseo llegó. Fue a su cuarto y se acostó. Luego dijo a su criado, Guies, llama a la mujer Tsunamita. El criado así lo hizo, y ella se presentó. Entonces, Eliseo le dijo a Guiesi, dile a la señora, te has tomado mucha molestia por nosotros. ¿Qué puedo hacer por ti? Quiero que le hable al rey y al comandante del ejército en tu favor. Pero ella respondió, yo vivo segura en medio de mi pueblo. Eliseo preguntó a Gehesi, ¿qué puedo hacer por ella? Bueno, bueno, contestó el siervo, ella no tiene hijos y su esposo ya es anciano. Dice, llámala, ordenó Eliseo. Gehesi le llamó a ella y detu la, se detuvo en la puerta, entonces Eliseo prometió. El año que viene, por esta fecha, estarás embarazada por un hijo. Y ella dijo, no, mi señor, hombre de Dios, exclamó ella. No engañes usted a su servidora. En efecto, la mujer quedó embarazada y al año siguiente, por esa misma fecha, dio a luz a un hijo, tal como Eliseo lo había dicho. El niño creció un día y salió a ver a su padre, que estaba con los segadores. De pronto exclamó, ay, mi cabeza, me duele la cabeza. El padre ordenó a un criado, llévaselo a su madre. El criado lo cargó y se lo llevó a la madre, lo cual lo tuvo a sus rodillas hasta el mediodía. Esa hora, el niño murió. Entonces, ella subió, lo puso en la cama, y el hombre de Dios, y cerrando la puerta, salió. How many of you know this story? ¿Cuántos conocen esta historia? It's a powerful story. Es una historia poderosa. And this woman. Y esta mujer. You know, was a woman that, I mean, she didn't ask him. Ella ni le pidió. He, God showed him Dios le enseñó. that she desired a son. Ella deseaba un hijo. And we see that time has passed, y vemos que el tiempo pasó, that the boy got older, y el niño creció, and suddenly tragedy hit her life. Y de hecho, tragedia llegó a la vida. And at times we're going to face those seasons yeah, vamos a pasar esas temporadas of pain, de dolor, of loss, de pérdida, of despair, de in panic, Pánico. and in an instant, en un instante, your life can change. Tu vida puede cambiar. You know, I can only imagine Yo solamente me puedo imaginar that she was in disbelief. Ella no podía creerlo. It didn't make sense. I'm sure she wrestled with it. But she remembered that she had told the prophet Elisha to not grant her a son if it will not come to pass. She was a woman who held on to the promise and hope that was given. So when her son died, she didn't see death. She seen the promise. And a lot of times, you know, there's testings in our faith. And it's, and it's to show who we are inside. Es para enseñar quién somos por dentro. I believe this was a huge test. Creo que esta fue una prueba muy grande. And this woman was so bold. Y esta mujer tenía tanto de nuevo. She was calm. Ella tuvo calma. <laughs> she told her husband, I'll be back. Dijo su esposo, she didn't even regreso. tell him what was happening. Y le dijo que estaba pasando. All she can think about. Lo único que ella pensaba. 
I have an appointment with that man who said I was, that he promised my child <laughs> to me. <laughs> it's like this. People get out of the way. I got, I got to talk with me and my God. How many of you have felt that way before? And so this woman, she went, she went to the man of God. She traveled far because she had to straighten out something. And, and before I go any further, the third, the third thing I, I, that stands out to me is her dependency on God. You see, she was a woman who was surrendered. Trust in the Lord wholeheartedly. She believed in him 100%. This, this is why she couldn't accept what took place. Because to her, that was the promise that God gave her. And a lot of times, um, we can, in those seasons of uncertainty, we can fall under the circumstance. We can fall under the situation. And we can start doubting. And fear wants to flood our hearts. All about the what ifs. All about, oh, it can't happen. I mean, what are you thinking? I mean, the enemy just wants to have a field day in your mind. And bring in remembrance of all the things that never did happen. That you hoped God to do once before. And this is where you and I have to come before the Lord. And we have to pray and seek his face and tell the Lord, remember your word to your servant for it has given me hope. You see, hope was knocking on her door. But she was, and she believed. And so when, when God gives you something divinely, supernaturally, then it's up to him. Because she knew this wasn't my doing. This was God. So I have an appointment with my God because I don't understand what's happening, nor can I accept it. And I, it brings me to a place you know, I'm going through all my notes. I'm not even going to follow. But because I really feel that this time, this season in our, in our church, in our life, we've been in a fasting and a praying season. You know, and it's not something that we should just take lightly. It's something that we have to grab a hold of. Every word that comes, that we take it, and that we say, God, this is a word for me. Lord, help me to live it out. Help me to believe that you are able because you are a God who is faithful to your promises and to your word. And this woman who came with desperation, she came to the man of God and she said, wait a minute. You promised me. Remember, I told you, don't give me that promise unless you can fulfill it and it reminds me seven years ago when the Lord called us to this city he's the one that called us to this city he's the one that brought us to this church so he will be the one to provide this church to us I said, God, I feel like I'm a crybaby sometimes. I said, Lord, 
these are my conversations with me and him. I didn't ask, dije, yo no pedí. ask yo no pedí to be where I'm at. Estar a donde estoy. But you called me. Pero tú me llamaste. These are your people. Es tu pueblo. Your people. Tu pueblo. I'm just a willing vessel. Solamente soy una vasita. I'm just your willing vessel. Solamente soy una vasita. So you have to provide, Lord. Because this thing is giant. Es this is huge. Es, uh, but I no know. Hombre. But I know Pero yo sé. that if you did it before in Whittier si en el otro lado, and we were witnesses y with the steps pasos, of purchasing the Greenleaf building de hacer la de la and if we were witnesses and we were there partnering with our pastors believing with our pastors sowing and sacrificing with our pastors and we were working laboring with our pastors then God you're going to do the same because you are faithful you are faithful and that is our response church our response has to be faith our response has to be yes and amen church we are on the brink of miracles thank you we are on the brink. Estamos en el bordo. I'm not saying this is not just for, this is not for me. No solamente es para mí. This is not just for one person. No es para una persona. This is for our future generations. Para nuestra generación venidera. This is for the souls. Son para las almas. That God has. Que Dios tiene. For us. Para nosotros. To bring into this church. Para traer a la iglesia. Just like He brought you to this church. Así como trajo a ti it's for them. Es para ellos. It's for our future generations para that God is raising up. Que Dios está but do you believe it? Pero tú lo crees. Do you believe it? Tú lo crees. You see, Mira. one of our promises in Isaiah 59, 21, Una de promesas en Isaiah 59, 21 the word of God reads, La palabra dice, and this is my covenant with them, says the Lord, dice el Señor, my spirit mi will not leave them, está sobre ti. and neither mis palabras, will these words I have given you, que están puestas en tus labios, they will be on your lips, no se apartarán, and on the lips of your children, de ti y de tus hijos, and your children's children de forever. I, the siempre, Lord, have spoken, dice el Señor, you see, you may be here and may think, well, I can't contribute nothing. People don't even know me. It doesn't matter. God knows you. You see, there was no name for this woman no in the Bible para esta mujer en la Biblia, other than the Shunammite woman. De que solamente era la Shunamita. But the impact and the influence she had just by believing, Solamente creer. just by her faith, Por su fe. and God wants to do that in your life. Dios hacer eso en tu vida. He wants to shine His face on you. Su sobre ti. You see, after making her plea to the Lord, de hacer su ante el Señor, Elisha, Eliseo, the man of God, de Dios, used to give her this miracle. Que usó para was, hacer este milagro, she was desperate que tenía, for that promise para esa and the Lord resurrected her child back to life el Señor sanó y a su hijo a la vida. you see I believe with these testings Mira, yo creo que con estas pruebas, sometimes we can get unfocused a veces nos falta el el, nos perdemos el enfoque. and with getting unfocused no enfoque, we can focus on the circumstance. Nos en la we can try how it's going to figure out, right? We try to figure things out. We actually, we, oh, some, some might fantasize. Some might try to, you know, work it out yourself. But God was saying, focus on the, she was focused on the promise. Pero ella en la she was focused that God gave her that promise. Que Dios le había dado esa that promesa. she's seen that child alive for seven years Ella miró ese hijo vivo por siete años. and she said God this is my promise y dijo, Dios, esta es mi 
She was determined. And she was desperate. Like we should be. When we come to the Lord. You see, God's people, Mira, el de Dios. we have to draw close to the Lord. We're in the end times. The Bible says La dice to draw close to him while you still may find him. Él te puede it is important. Es importante. More important, it's serious. Más that we as a people como pueblo, have our dependency on God not on our family no familia, or things o cosas, or our bank account bancaria, but that we, our dependency is on God no en Dios. it requires a life of prayer una vida de a prayer life una llena de when you don't have a prayer life si tú no una vida de oración, I look at it as you have clogged arteries you, you might be getting uh, close to a spiritual heart attack but when you have a prayer life your spiritual arteries are clear and the spirit of God can flow in you and through you and the power of God can move as it wants to move you see church we must endure we're coming to a time to that it's required to endure to persevere to sacrifice because those times are here it's dangerous if you're comfortable. It's dangerous if you're not serving in the house of God. It's dangerous. As we all stand, you see, some of us have lost the faith, growing weary because your focus is on the circumstance. Time is passing by. Maybe you can't relate to this tragedy. But you're counting down the days or the years that you've been asking God and you're trying to work it in your own strength. See, look, this woman waited years. Even her husband was too old to have kids. <laughs> That's how long she waited. But the word of God says in Hebrews 10.38 and my righteous ones will live by faith. The word of God says and I will take no pleasure in anyone who turns away. But we are not like those who turn away from God to their own destruction. We are the faithful ones whose souls will be saved. You see, just like the Shunammite woman whose life changed in an instant, but she held on to the promise. She had a different kind of spirit you know pastor's been talking about having that different kind of spirit a Caleb spirit a different attitude the importance of having that spirit will determine your future will determine your destiny how many of you want to fulfill the call of God in your life the destiny he has for your life well, we have to have that spirit of expectancy. We have to expect God for more. We have to expect God for the impossible. Don't be afraid. Don't look at your past. Where you come from. If you have your parents or you don't have your parents. If you have your family or you don't have your family. Expect God to move. To move. Because he is able. Dios puede. You see, God's seen. Dios miró. This is heavy. Like I told you, como les dije, or like I shared, compartí. I didn't ask. Yo no pedí. 
God appointed. Dios asignó. You know why? ¿Sabes por qué? Because he's seen the people of the future. Porque miró a la gente del futuro. He's seen you already. Ustedes. He was already here before we got here. Because God is a God that progresses and increases. Porque Dios es un Dios de progreso. You see, when you're in the storm, Cuando estás en la tormenta, you can't see the other side. No puedes ver el otro lado. I couldn't see all this. Yo no podía mirar esto. My husband and I, we couldn't see. Mi esposo y yo. But God did. Pero Dios sí. God sees your situation. Dios mira tu situación. Our our pain has a purpose dolor tiene your pain has a purpose tu dolor tiene God has a purpose for your life tiene un para tu vida. and God is looking to you and to me Dios está to us Victory Outreach Tijuana. Victoria, Tijuana I like to say me gusta decir, his remnant we are his remnant you know what a remnant stands for you know what the remnant is it's a people who survived a catastrophe come on somebody <laughs> we are a people that was not a people so we can't shrink back we must hold on to the promises of God and keep the faith at all costs you will be tested there is breakthrough coming church we have to hold on we have to press in you may be on the brink of something new we must be faith filled people Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tonight, noche, God is calling each and every one of us Dios está a cada uno de nosotros to do more, para hacer más, to give it all. Para dar todo. This fast, this season we're in, Esta temporada, este ayuno, it requires all todo. that we're all in. Todos God requires all of us. Todo de he doesn't require just a part of me. No una parte he requires all of me. No todo de mí. And so tonight, pues esta noche, these altars are open. Vamos a abrir los this altars. is where your strength you draw from we draw strength from God in our weaknesses the Bible says that his strength is made perfect hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah
Yo declaro que el Señor está avivando a un pueblo that will be saved. que serán salvos and that will do the work of the ministry trusting in him wholeheartedly you see we are a people Somos un pueblo who will hold on to the promises of God nos vamos a agarrar de las relentlessly in Philippians 1.6 The Bible says, and I am certain that God, y dice, Yo estoy cierto que Dios, who began the good work within you, el que comenzó tan buena obra en ustedes, will continue his work la irá perfeccionando until it is finally finished hasta que el día de on the day, on the day en el día when Christ Jesus returns. De Cristo Jesús. There is still work to do, church. And He is still working in us. He is still working in you. He is still working in your finances. He is still working in your children. He is still working in your family. He is still working in your heart. He is still working in your marriage. God is still working. And He says that it will continue until the day of Christ returns. It is not over no until Jesus says, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come before you once again. I pray, Lord, that we will seal this word in our heart. Lord, that faith has been birthed la fe ha nacido inside of us. Dentro de nosotros. Lord, a burden. Una carga. Lord, for what you are, have been calling us to do. De lo que nos vas a hacer. Lord, help us to believe once again a creer una vez más that you are able. Que tú eres capaz. That you are able. Que tú eres capaz. Remove any disbelief. Remove incredulidad. Remove the doubt. Remove las dudas. The fear. Los temores. Anything that can hold us back. Cualquier cosa que nos quiera atrancar. Remove it in Jesus' name. Remove it in the name of Jesus. And let faith. Y deja que la fe. Swell up. Que resalte. Give us that spirit of expectancy, oh God. Give us that spirit of expectancy, Give us that that right spirit, Lord. Give us that spirit of correct. That believes. Que cree. That you are able. Que tú puedes. 
in Jesus' name. We give you all the honor tonight. And God's people say, Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And look, as you guys make your way back to your seat, as we give a clap out to the Lord for that powerful word, I know that we're blessed tonight. I know that we're not leaving the same. I know that God is doing something within our lives. Come on, somebody. Mira, yo sé que Dios está haciendo algo, pero mira, vamos a entrar a lo que es diezmos, ofrenda y unidos podemos. So si pueden preparar su corazón, si pueden preparar sus ojos. Los ujieres se pueden dirigir hacia ustedes Si no pueden ver las pantallas Tenemos nuestro código QR Y pueden hacerlo por medio de ahí Mira voy a compartir una palabra Rapiditamente en el libro de Mateo 7.11 Y dice la palabra de Dios Dice pues si ustedes aún siendo malos Ouch Saben dar buenas cosas a sus hijos Cuanto más su padre que está en los cielos Dará cosas buenas a los que le pidan ¿Cuántos han creído esta palabra? ¿Cuántos saben que Dios en el cielo Quiere darnos cosas buenas? Amén Pero mira la palabra de Dios dice Aún nosotros como humanos Podemos ser malos Pero aún en nuestra maldad Podemos dar buenas dádivas Buenos regalos, buenas bendiciones Especialmente a nuestros hijos So, quiero que sepan que esta noche todo lo que hacemos en lo que es los diezmos, ofrendas y unidos podemos Siempre es invirtiendo en el reino pero también con la mentalidad que es para el futuro de nuestros hijos ¿Cuántos pueden decir amén por eso? Que estamos invirtiendo el reino y también para el futuro Mira vamos a orar y después de eso pueden venir hacia enfrente Padre Celestial Venimos delante de tu presencia Señor te damos gracias por tu palabra Señor te pedimos que bendigas Señor estos diezmos Estas ofrendas Dios y que bendigas a cada dador Padre Padre porque tú eres bueno y para siempre es tu misericordia En el nombre de Jesús y tu pueblo dice amén y amén Y puede venir hacia adelante Mira un fuerte aplauso al Señor y se lo dejamos a la alabanza.
este es tu hogar, es tiempo de celebrar. Déjate amar, ven, 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 este es tu hogar, es tiempo de celebrar. Úbelo y danza, hay libertad en tu casa, celebración y alegría. Pues hoy es tu 